Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 6th of February, 2020. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Now before I get started, I want to thank each and every one of you. I just looked at the subscriber count, and we've made it to 100,000 subscribers, and it's so amazing. I, I feel so blessed. I'm so humbled and I'm so thankful for each and every single one of you. Now with that said, let's get on with your daily. So I'm using the Garden Dragon um, Oracle and I'm also using messages from your angels and I will be using the Witch Tarot for your daily general messages. Alright Spirit, what messages do you have for us for Thursday the 6th? All right, we are ready. We have timing coming up here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, angels. Ooh, we had two fly out. So we have, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. That's an amazing energy right there. And then we have, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? Thursday the 6th. I also want to thank each and every one of you for the, the healing energies that you've been sending me as well. I am so blessed to have each and every one of you uh, being a part of my life. Thank you so much. All right. So we have Thursday, the 6th spirit. What do we need to know? Thursday. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. King of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. Ten of Cups, Temperance, Page of Swords, and we have the Hermit. Definitely have a lot of divine timing taking place here, especially with the Blackberry Dragon coming up here and the Three of Swords. I feel like for many of you, you have been waiting patiently on something, a situation, some type of change, and I, I feel like I feel like it's already been done behind the scenes, you know, with your angels and your spirit guides, but there's just a little bit longer, okay, uh, that you've got to wait, and I, I'm definitely getting a sense here now for some of you if you are waiting on something and this is timing this could be i'm getting three weeks maybe six weeks maybe even up to three months for some of you all right but just know everything is happening happening in divine timing and it feels like this has been coming up a lot uh timing within a situation or some area of your life and I know for some of you, you're just, you're wanting something to hurry up and be over with. I feel like for some of you, it's been a long, drawn-out situation. But just know that everything is going to work out for the betterment of your situation, okay? Now, you have your angels are telling you that you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. So your angels right off are telling you that you and your loved ones are safe, okay? You are spiritually protected. You are being divinely guided. And it's important that you have that faith and that trust. 
I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. For some of you, you may have recently found out that you're pregnant or that you know you're fixing to have a child. Some of you, you could be marrying someone and you could be combining families as well as what I'm getting here. Now, for some of you, you are moving. There's big changes coming up. Some of you have just purchased a home. Some of you are even moving to another state. Thank you, Spirit. And you know, that could be what this timing is about, okay? This could be a career opportunity or maybe where you're relocating and it's going to be you know a few weeks off maybe to a couple of months before you can get settled in now you have the six of pentacles coming up here with the ten of cups the six of pentacles is that energy of give and take right and i feel for many of you you're very generous okay you're always willing to help somebody but I am getting a sense here for some of you, somebody could be taking advantage of that situation. You may need to set up some boundaries here between give and take, okay? Because you want to make sure your energies are balanced. Because when you have a balance here, that leaves you open to receive, you know, blessings yourself. And each and every one of you deserve, you know, blessings. You deserve to have things given to you as well. And it's very important for you you to be open to receiving not just being the one that's always doing the giving you know you're just as worthy as you know everybody else that you're giving to as well and it's important that you know this now some of you are definitely waiting on a court situation a legal situation it could be an inheritance it could be workman's comp it, it, it could be a criminal court case as well and I feel like, again, timing is playing a part here. But know that everything is unfolding at the right time. And I know it seems like this is coming up a lot here lately. But it's going to be very important for you guys that are waiting. Just know that you are protected in the meantime. And, you know, there's a reason why there's uh, timing coming up here. So be patient with yourself. All right, don't be so hard on yourself and don't allow yourself to get discouraged and that anxiety to set up here. Now you have the Ten of Cups coming up here. This is a beautiful energy. You know, this is a rainbow of cups up here that are runneth over. And this talks about, you know, those of you that are taking action, that you've been putting in applications for jobs, maybe a career change. Uh, you're going to start to see doors opening up for you. You're going to start to start receiving emails and phone calls about what you've put out. And I, I feel like it's a blessing. I feel, you know, some of you have been holding out for that specific job or career opportunity. And I'm going to tell you what, you guys, it's, it's worth the wait here. Because Spirit says there's a promise of more of this to come as well. So whenever you do receive this news... Uh, or it's going to be exciting and I feel like not only is it going to be a, a golden opportunity here but it's really going to bring in more of that energy of fulfillment and emotional satisfaction it's something you're going to want to uh, do and you're going to enjoy you know this is an amazing reading you have the nine and the ten of cups here I mean, just very powerful. And before I move forward, we do have two nines that are coming up here, the number 99. And I always tell you guys to Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. Now, I will tell you this much about the number 9. The number 9 represents that, that you're, you're at completion in some area, okay? Remember, we're talking about timing here in many different areas so just know that whatever you've been waiting on or you've been wanting uh, something to close up finish whether it's legal or some of you are relocating whatever this means to you it, it's you're almost there okay I cannot express that enough now you have the nine of cups clarified by temperance the nine of cups is that you know wish fulfillment type of energy 
This is you receiving that news or that, that, that word that you received that job. Now you have the clarity. You can go after something that you truly desire. And it's going to bring you so much happiness. Okay? Again, we're talking about emotional satisfaction and fulfillment here. With Sagittarius coming up here. Uh, Sagittarius with Temperance coming up here. Excuse me, you guys. I'm getting it backwards. Temperance is the energy of Sagittarius. Uh, we have two energies talking about balancing your energies with the Six of Pentacles along with Temperance. So I definitely see you guys, you know, making some adjustments. Some of you may be making some agreements. Uh, I'm getting an energy here of you getting together with others. Or this could be you getting together with your angels or your spirit guides and communicating uh, what it is that you want as well as making some required adjustments here. You're making sure that things are just right. Some of you are manifesting, all right? And you're making sure that what you are manifesting, that you're going to get that desired outcome, all right? And this is you making those adjustments here. And, you know, you're believing in yourself when this energy shows up as well. And another thing I want to point out here, we have another rainbow. And rainbows, you know, this... We're talking about some blessings coming in here. Some amazing opportunities showing up right in the nick of time, you guys. So, very powerful. I got goosebumps. I mean, what you guys have been waiting on, it's coming. Now, we have the King of Wands. Love the King of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords. King of Wands, whether you're male or female. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, the King of Wands is my favorite king because this is that go-getter type of energy. This king, whatever he's going after, uh, it's his heart's true desire. And he has that, that driving force that is backing what he's taking action on here. There is nothing or anyone that's going to get in the way of what it is that he's going after. And I love it. It's an entrepreneur type of energy. It's a leadership type of energy. I feel for many of you, uh, people look up to you. This could be you stepping into a new role, maybe within the workplace. Some of you, you could be starting your own business, you know, uh, going off on your own and, uh, Taking that skill that you've mastered and starting something from scratch, you know, that is going to be yours. I definitely get a sense here that many of you are starting a home business. I'm getting some YouTube platforms. If you guys been, you know, if you've been thinking about this, go for it. It's your time. Do it. Don't let fear, doubt, or hesitation hold you back. Know how powerful you are, okay? You are the co-creator of your reality, not anybody else. So it's up to you to make that change and to take action and to go after it. Now you have the Page of Swords coming up here. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. You know, I feel like with this coming up here, clarifying this King of Wands, you know, if there is a little bit of hesitation or doubt, well, let me tell you what can drown that out and what can, you know, starve that type of energy. Knowledge, doing the research, doing your homework on what it is that you're wanting to go after, what you're wanting to take action on. Knowledge is power, okay? And that's something that cannot be taken from you. And it's not forgotten. It stays with you. It's something you can use when you learn it and in, in the present as well as in the future. I see many of you, you're making goals right here. You're making plans, all right, because you're ready to step into your power right here. You're ready to go after that, that dream, that wish fulfillment. Some of you could be, you know, taking some classes, online classes. Some of you could be going back to school as well. Now, you have the Three of Swords coming up here, clarified by the Hermit. We are definitely talking about timing, divine timing right here. Um, I'm not getting any loss, disappointment, or sorrow. This is all about 
you know, something is not far off, but it's not here yet, okay? Be patient with the process. Be patient with yourself. Like I said, for some of you, this could be three weeks, six weeks. This could be a couple of months even. This could have to do with you uh, relocating, moving. Some of you are moving to a different state. You know, and for those of you that are waiting on a legal situation, financial, anything that has to do with the court system, uh, attorneys, judges, anything like that, there's a reason why it's taking the time that it's taking. All right? Everything is happening in divine timing right here. Believe in yourself and believe in spirit and your spirit guides and your angels. They have your best interest at heart, believe me. Now we have the hermits, all right? And this is the energy of Virgo, and I love it. This is you going within, checking in with yourself. And when you do this, it allows for you to have um, spiritual enlightenment gained here, okay? For some of you, this is you checking in with number one, and this is what's allowing for you to be patient with yourself. You know, oftentimes the hermit represents needing to go within. And... Uh, not so much as maybe doing the inner work, but taking time out maybe to check in with yourself, meditate, and have an understanding about this timing situation right here. And it really does allow for you to figure out which direction maybe you want to go in. For some of you, you know, you may be seeking some answers to some questions that you have, and this is you realizing those answers to those questions lie within you, and you're taking the time out to go in and out of hermit mode to, you know, figure out what your next move is going to be, maybe while you're waiting on something to play out here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, I love this. A lot of positive energies here. They're all positive. I know everybody gets so tired of hearing divine timing, and it's been coming up a lot, but that's because a lot of you have got a lot of divine timing going on in your life. And Spirit wants you to know you are protected, okay? Uh, those of you that are waiting on legal situations, maybe, maybe it's a loan, maybe it's a financial backer, maybe it's moving, okay? There's a reason for it, okay? Whatever the situation is, particular in your situation. There's a reason, and it's for the betterment. All right, enough rambling. <laughs> I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.